Let's take a closer look at Woodstock in the time period in which Nathan Brown was born. In 1749, Woodstock was still in Wyndham County. Changing the year to 1747, something very interesting is displayed. Again, Woodstock's location has not changed, but the boundaries surrounding it have. In 1747, Woodstock would have been in Worcester County, Massachusetts. If your ancestor bordered another state or even a county line, be sure to keep your mind open for the possibility of locating them in other jurisdictions. For a final example with this particular map, let's study Nathan and Molly's children. Remember from the entry in the history of Woodstock, they had three children born in the town in 1792, 1794, and 1795. Searching the original records of Woodstock confirmed this. Now it would be quite unusual for the time period to stop having children after just three. The family seemed to disappear from the records after the birth of Samuel. I began the radius search methodologies and found another family in Charlton, Massachusetts that had a similar family structure. In fact, Nathan and Polly had four additional children born in Charlton in the years 1797, 1799, 1801, and 1803. Let's take a look at this geography in any map by searching for and plotting Charlton on the map. Charlton was directly north of Woodstock. Let's see how far north using the measure mode tool. about 12 miles north. This could definitely be the same family. Being able to visualize these three states in the same map is quite helpful when the ancestors lived near the state boundaries. Unfortunately, besides most of the New England states, there is not a good method in any map of comparing state boundaries for the other states. This would require careful attention to the actual historical maps.